On this episode of my swing evolution, I'm going to pick up the custom driver I just had built, show you a new Hogan impact drill, and then take my driver to the golf course for a test drive. That's a beauty ball. Hey YouTube, I'm so excited to say that my channel's passed a million views. In fact, we're almost at 1.1 million and I'm at 4,700 subscribers. Uh, this is terribly thrilling for me because what started off as just a little whim is uh, growing by leaps and bounds. It was only three years ago that I could hardly hit a golf ball. I certainly didn't hit it with any authority. Now uh, I'm playing much better golf and it is my full intention to break par this year. All right, I'm two under after three. One of my last videos I made was about my driver. I was getting an old Titleist driver fitted with a nunchuck shaft. Surprise! I got a little present for you! I don't want your damn nunchucks, Cameron. How'd you know they're nunchucks? We're f***ing Asian! Here's my new driver. Check this out. 983K nunchuck shaft from Inventix. I have a dry tack wind grip. And this is the bomb. And uh, I went down to Crown City. Uh, that's where I get all my used golf equipment and get my repair work done. My friend Richard works there, and he's, he's very friendly. So if you're in Pasadena, check out Crown City Golf on Green Street. It is dynamite. And, uh, yeah, so Richard put this together for me. And this is kind of an experiment because this driver is a lot heavier than what I've been playing. In fact... All the long drive stuff I was doing, I was trying to find the longest, lightest driver that I could find. And uh, I was getting to where I could hit it pretty well, you know. I, I had my driving improved. But I decided to go with this heavier driver after playing with that Persimmon 2 wood, the Brassy. Because I hit that thing dead straight. So I tried this out to see if it would load better. And man... And if I don't get jumpy, I hit it pretty darn straight. In fact, this is one of the major reasons why I think I'm going to break par this year. Now, I've got a question for YouTube. I don't know if anybody can answer it for me. But this club is so much heavier than my other drivers that when I measured it on my SSR radar, I, I timed out at... 101 miles per hour which is much slower compared to the other drivers that I hit but when I took it to the golf course I hit it practically as long as my long light driver no, I, and I can tell the way you've been hitting them today you ain't cheating your distance <laughs> they're not cheating your distance so you know this is two inches shorter and yeah so the question I have is does wait time speed equal power because it's heavier it's slower but I'm hitting the ball straighter and just as far I don't know but uh, I wanted to talk today about a drill that I've come up with to help me achieve my Ben Hogan swing and I'm sure it would help you too 
And what I'm really focused on right now is the impact position. I've been very open about the fact that my impact position leaves much to be desired. I don't look like Hogan at all. So uh, at any rate, I've got this little drill that I picked up from Martin Ayers. I consider Martin Ayers to be a golfing genius. So Martin has this little drill where he turns his whole body towards the target. I call it the front stance. And then he brings the club behind, beside him, almost like, like a hockey stick. And I started doing this on the range, and it gives me insane compression. And it also helps me look more like Hogan with that open impact position. So this is something I'm going to be working on today. You should give it a try at home. I'll tell you, it, it makes everything make sense. It makes the grip make sense. It makes, it, it just, it's, all I got to say is just try it. I'm here at Handsome Dam. I'm ready to play with my crazy friends that I know from these TV shows I work on. What up? Yo, yo. What up? Ready? Let's play. Alright, I'm two under after three. I'm gonna try and keep it going. That's called a post birdie fuck up. I got that one on tape. <laughs> That's dry of the look? day. So I'm five over, I got four holes to play. Uh, I'm going to try and make some birdies, try and bring the score down a little bit. Got a little loose there in the middle, but, uh, but I'm hitting it pretty solid. We'll see where it goes. Screwed it up coming down the stretch, bogeyed the last two holes for a round of 80. Um, I'm still going to take some positives from this. Uh, I'm driving the ball straighter than I ever have, ever in my life. So that's a positive and uh, you know I had a couple of bad breaks out there. But I can live with it and I'm going to keep on uh, moving forward. I'm going to chalk this up as a positive.